This is the second in a series of tarot videos we're presenting to debunk some common myths around negotiations. In this video, we'll look at four myths surrounding compromise, conflict, and concessions in negotiations. Myth number three, compromise is an essential part of negotiations, reality. Insisting that compromise is essential in negotiations is akin to assuming that everyone has identical interests or only a single interest. Rarely is that the case. People may only disclose one interest, such as, I want a cheaper price or I want more money. Beneath the surface, there are always more interests to be uncovered and introduced to the discussion. A skilled negotiator probes and digs deeper, realizing that there is always common ground to acknowledge and always more to be explored that can open the door to more creative solutions. Myth number four, conflict is an essential part of negotiations, reality. This is one of the biggest misconceptions about negotiations. Conflict does not have to be a part of negotiations. Instead, conflict is the result of a negotiation gone wrong. When negotiations go well, they result in outcomes where everyone has some or all of their interests met and relationships are preserved. When we learn to negotiate well, we can prevent conflict. Myth number five, making a concession shows weakness. When you concede something because you aren't willing to stand up for your own interests, that may reveal weakness. However, changing your mind and making a concession based on new information is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of collaboration, creative thinking, and willingness to change. The best agreements and outcomes follow a period of information gathering and creative thinking that leads to deeper understanding of the parties and greater options to explore. Myth number six, people in negotiations are adversaries. Reality, it is commonly assumed that one person's gain must be another person's loss, so the parties are adversaries. You may have occasion to negotiate with a competitor, but most of your problem solving and decision making will happen with people you know and like. When we enter a negotiation with a reminder of the importance of preserving the relationship, we're less likely to try manipulative tactics or fall prey to them with others. Keep watching this series to bust more myths around negotiations.